Hi, I'm Brian. Today I'm gonna to go through what's in this Pelican case, which is basically the equivalent of my camera bag. Um, this is a case that comes with me on any shoot I'm doing, kind of regardless of what we're gonna be shooting. Um, kind of like a grab bag that's got a little bit of everything, visual, audio, grip stuff, and just miscellaneous items that can help you get through any shoot. So, let's get into it. Um, so, if we go to the top camera, really quick, you can kind of see there's two Pelican cases here. Um, this first one that is down here is actually where I house my camera. Um, so this is where, you know, the cinema camera goes in all built out, the one that we're filming on for the A cam right now. Uh, then battery slots, monitor, top handle, and then some space that I haven't filled yet. And then if we look over here, this is where we get into the actual case that we're going to be going through today. So diving right into the case, you can see it's a Pelican 1510 made in Torrance, California in the USA. And then right here, I just use the little white paint Sharpie to write my phone number and production company name on it. So let's dive right into the case and see what we got. Uh, first thing I wanna show you in this case is we're using the yellow foam dividers and that's just so it's customizable so you can really put it in any orientation, any configuration you want and it still has a nice amount of padding. So down in this little corner, we have a power cord which goes with this power cord up here. And then underneath that is this little guy, which is the Nanlite Forza 60. And this is a super powerful little LED light that is the size of, you can see it with my hands, that you know, maybe like a small grapefruit or something, like pretty tiny. So I'm gonna set this up and show you a little hack where we can actually use the case as a light stand uh, using just this light, and we can have a key light just about anywhere we go. So I'm gonna set that up. So we're gonna grab this guy, which is a small rig clamp that you can clamp onto just about anything and super strong. And I'm gonna show you how you can use that as a stand for this Nanlite Forza 60. So what you do is you take the Pelican case and you can set it up to the side over here like this. Put that up. Screw that little guy on top of it. Slide the Nanlite on top of that super clamp right there. And then I'm gonna bring this down just so you can see it for the video's purposes. Tighten that down, tighten this up. So now you have a little key light that you can put just about anywhere on this stand. You can clip this to something higher up if you need to get your light higher up. And the way you can use this as a key is basically you can either bounce it off a wall, bounce it off a board, or a fun little trick too is if you're wearing a white shirt, you can actually just turn it towards you if you have your camera all set up. And then this is a green shirt, but you can bounce it right off a white shirt and then provides kind of a nice soft ambient glow onto your subject. So I'm actually gonna leave this light set up in the corner to light up our background for the rest of it and then let's get back into the case. So I always like to keep non-perishable snacks in here. Always have some turkey breast in here. I mean, this will keep for months if you just leave it in your bag. So that's always nice to have in there. All right, so moving on, you can see in this little pocket right here, we have four of these little guys and these are Aperture MC RGB lights and they're awesome little kicker lights, uh, accent lights that you can put anywhere. They can go any color and they have a bunch of crazy effects. They're pretty powerful. So I like to keep a couple of those in there just for you know putting over the room if you wanna add a little more interest into your shot. And then going on with the lighting idea, we have this thing over here, which is the boiling P1. And this is also another light um, that's similar to these Aperture MCs. They have the same effects, same LED, RGB capabilities, but this one just gets a little bit brighter. So I'll typically use this as a hair light if I don't have a hair light with me. Um, and I'm using that Forza 6 as a key light. So these are awesome to have in there too. And the battery life is a tiny bit better too, I think. That's the lighting that we have in the bag. Now let's get into some of the audio solutions that I like to carry with me. So first off is this Rode Wireless Go system. Um, just a wireless lav mic system. Works pretty well. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but you can see right here, they're super tiny. Battery life's pretty good on them. Um, the one thing I don't like about them is sometimes they cut out if you put it on one side of a person and then you're filming from their other side, the body can actually disrupt the, the, uh, the, the, the signal or whatever it is, whatever have you. So I don't love them, but they get the job done, you know? Um, and then the lav mic I'm using for those is a Sennheiser ME2. And I think that's just a nice mic for a nice balance of sound quality versus price. They're a little bit, they're over a hundred dollars. So a tiny bit pricey, but they get the job done really well. Additionally, I always like to carry a couple extra of these little lav mic clips. Um, the metal ones are the ones that I think work best because they don't break as easily. And just in case if you lose them, it's always nice to have one of these and not get stuck with that one. Next is this Zoom F1 recorder. And again, this isn't the greatest audio solution in the world. This is just stuff that I bought when I was first starting out, but it gets the job done again. Um, and yeah, this is just if you need 
uncut raw audio from someone that you can later mix into a clip or footage, or you can mic up cars with it, which is super nice. Underneath that, we have some good old fashioned earbuds, if you can see these. Let's see those into focus. Yeah. In this pouch, typically, there is a shotgun microphone. However, that shotgun microphone is currently right above me. So it's not in that pouch, um, as well as an XLR to mini XLR cable, so I can plug that directly into my Blackmagic. And then a shotgun microphone mount that you can put on a cold shoe. So that's audio for the most part. I guess going on the audio route still, we can go into these. These are just some nice little walkie talkies from Amazon. They're cool because they have a feature where you don't actually have to hold down the button. You can just talk right into them. Beep, 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 boop, boop, boop. Awesome little thing to have in the kit, I think. Yeah. And they have little lights on them too, which is kind of handy if you need another key light. Just hold that in front of your subject a couple inches from their face and it'll give them a nice, warm, soft glow. Underneath the walkie talkies is this follow focus, which lives on my camera most of the time. However, it doesn't fit in that camera case that I showed you down below. So I just keep it in this case. That thing is cool. So moving around, moving around, we come over here to this V-mount battery. Tether Tools 150 watt hour battery. These are probably some of my favorite V-mounts out there just because you're not gonna get a better price for this much juice inside of a battery pack. And yeah, they've been working fine for a year and a half. We have some gaff tape, which is, I mean, it's just some of the greatest stuff you could buy, really. It's, it's better than duct tape. It doesn't leave residue, super easy to rip, and it's non-reflective, so that's awesome. I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah, so it gets cold, so I like to keep some nice leather gloves with me. These aren't my choice of gloves by any chance, but fun fact about these gloves is a security guard gave them to me for $10 one time. They're fine gloves. Put that back in there. Now, if you remember this guy from earlier, these things are super handy. Um, they're just some clamps, some small rigs where you can clamp them down on anything and then has a little magic arm that you can rotate, shoot, wiggle around, do whatever there. And I normally have two of these in here, but one of them is being used for the overhead rig right now. And so that's what's holding this up. Um, and it's holding up a Sony a7 III with a big old fat lens on it. And it's just holding it up there great. So um, these things are fantastic. Little prong thing in case you need to triplify your outlets. You can have three more outlets than you typically have. So this is a handy little thing, handy dandy I would say. Below that we have this, which is a ratchet strap, which I started off filming a lot of cars. And so when you're hanging out the back seat of a trunk of a car, you wanna make sure you're sturdy in there. And so this isn't the best solution. Normally we're using a climbing harness or something, but this is an awesome solution if you're in a pinch and you just need to tie yourself down to something so you don't fall out and bust your noggin or something. And then so over here we have a nice little cheap flashlight. Um, this is used for nighttime stuff. And I like it because you can't put your phone in your mouth, but you can put this in your mouth and go, and you just take it out and it's a little flashlight and toss it back in. And then underneath that are these clips and these clamps are just clips, clamps, whatever you want to call them. Um, just fantastic for attaching stuff. Right now, they're holding up the backdrop behind me. So now moving over here to our cleaning supplies. This is an electronic air duster from Amazon. So you just... And... It's kind of nice to have around, just if you uh, are shooting out in the desert or where it's re really dusty, you can just give things a bit, give it a little once over with this thing. And yeah, it's not essential by any means, but it can make life easier, so I like this. Underneath that thing, we have the more traditional way of blowing air. This is how you can clean off your sensors, lenses, all that other stuff, and it puts out a nice little gust of air. Bunch of cleaning cloths underneath here. Cleaning cloth, cleaning cloth, tripod plate, just in case you need one. And this one also fits on a Ronin. And then right underneath all that is this little thing. And I feel like everyone has one of these things, but I never really use it. All right, so now we'll come back over to this corner right here. This is just a little filter case. Um, typically have step up rings in there for filters. And then this is a black magic, black magic, magic. It's a pro mist filter. So that gives you kind of the glow and warm bloomy highlights. I'm sure you've seen those before. Kind of nice to have. I like the, the one quarter strength. So next up we have a variable ND filter of the darker variety. And these are awesome for when you're shooting outside in super sunny bright daylight and you want to drop your aperture really low, keep your shutter speed low and your base ISO is high. You can use these darker end of the spectrum variable NDs to avoid having this weird vignetting or X effect that often happens with 
um, the endies that aren't as strong. So that's a nice little thing to have in the case that lives there. And then over here we have this anamorphic adapter that goes on the Sigma 18 to 35 from a company called Vid Atlantic. And this allows for some cool horizontal lens flares as well as over bokeh in the background. And then this screwdriver just lives in there so I can attach it while I'm in the field onto the Sigma 18 to 35. Sigma 24 to 70, 2.8, awesome lens. Uh, this is the Canon variety, speed boosted onto the Black Magic when I use it. And this is just a super awesome versatile lens that can be used for just about anything that you need it to be used for. And normally I'm switching between this and then the Sigma 18 to 35, which is on the Black Magic right now if I just need something that's a tiny bit faster or I wanna use the anamorphic adapter. But this is great too because it's stabilized, so it can provide for a little bit smoother handheld footage if I need. This is where the shotgun mic normally lives, as well as some zip ties, um, some markers, some pens, just some stuff to have on set. Coming over here, we have a homemade first aid kit. Typically I have a cheap little first aid kit from Amazon in here, but right now that is being used elsewhere. So this is a homemade first aid kit, Neosporin, Band-Aids, uh, some rope, some tape for a bandage, athletic tape, in case you have any boo-boos on set, you can come save the day with this. Super handy to have. And then below that lives a Samsung T5 portable SSD. You can shoot onto these on the Black Magic. You can shoot onto them, I believe, on Z cams. So great media. And then also, if you need to give a client footage on set, um, oftentimes you can just load the footage, plug it into a computer, put it on one of these guys, and then hand it to the client. So super handy to have an extra one of those. And we have some hardware stuff. So. Bunch of small rig Allen wrenches, uh, extra screws for building cages and everything there. Just little mounting pieces. Next we have this little small rig multi-tool, which the thing that gets most used on this is the flathead for tripod base plates, but then it's also nice to have a Phillips head on set as well as some easily accessible Allen key wrenches. And then I just keep one of these guys in there. I don't know if it does anything, but it's supposed to keep any liquid out or any moisture that's in your case. It'll suck it up and then you don't have moisture in your case. We have this little case up here, which this is a toiletry bag from the Bellagio in Las Vegas. And there are a bunch of cables in here. So micro USB, USB-C, uh, iPhone lightning cable, and then I think probably one or two, I don't know what else. And then we have a cool little wall adapter. It's got two plugs so you can charge two things at once. It has a nice fast output. And last but not least, we have a portable battery charger from my buddy over at Rev Motoring. And this is in case you need to charge an iPhone on set or anything else. You can just pull this bad boy out, plug something in, and you're good to go. So, we can close that guy up and set him over here to the side for now. Give him a hug. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And other than that, I'll miss you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy 2021, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.